Welcome to Say Sean's vlog, and or should we call it Say Sean and Caroline eat today? Well, it's not just eat. You've got the, you've got drinks to try as well. Yes, yeah, so we're going to show you our Florida May Florida trip that we've just come on, just been on. Uh, we're going to show you everything that we we bought to bring home. Uh, most of it is food, of course. Is me after all, and we didn't bring us back as much as we normally do because no. everything is so expensive. Normally, when we bring stuff back, it's like a massive full table full, but this time it's it's not. It's it's a lot smaller. We'll start with the non-food items because there's only a couple of them, and then we'll get into the food and the drink, and we'll try some of it, not all of it, and you'll see why we can't try all of it. So one of the the first things is I bought a T-shirt from Old Navy, which was seven dollars fifty. It was half price. Well, he bought two, but he's worn one already. I've worn one. <laughs> I'll I'll put a picture of the one that I've worn in now. And that was only five bucks, and it was American. American? Of course, it was American. It was it's the American old, flag. It was the American flag of Old Navy. Here is the back of the T-shirt. I didn't realize this was the back. Actually, I thought it was the front, but it's the back. Interesting. And the front is oh. just a nice little logo. I don't understand what, why the trend in the US is to put all the imagery on, on the back of t-shirts these days. I don't understand that. So that's that t-shirt. And we also got lots of Bath & Body Works because, well, we just have to. So let's start with this bag. These are, this is the hand soaps and we've got six of them. We got champagne toast. We got this one. It's the new Bridgerton sense, but we only it's got very, one. We, there was a two different, two or three different versions, but that was the version I liked the best. And that, I think Natalie and Matt agreed with the smell as well. Diamond of the season, that <clears> one. <throat> we, we need to watch Bridgerton. Yes, we the do. Has just started. Waikiki Coconut Beach. It smells delicious. Warm vanilla sugar. One of my favourites. These were five for twenty-four bucks, and then five fifty for the the sixth one, plus all the tax, of course. Mahogany Coconut. This is a new one for us. We've not had this one before. And then the last one is Bronzed Sunset. I think that's also a new one. It is, because I explained that I like vanilla and um, tropical and coconut smells, and she went and tried to find ones that were available at the moment. She would have had to buy in about 20 if she could. She would have. I did notice that this time there's a, there was a lot more in different places that were going to, people trying to sell things. Yeah. Then we got the three for three on the body washers, so it's mostly male stuff because Caroline wasted. So I, I don't waste it. I just Sean thinks I use too much of it. It takes me like two months to get through one of these. It takes Caroline two weeks. Make it three. I'll agree to that. Bourbon. Maybe I'm just cleaner. No, you just waste it. <laughs> Graphite. Noir. This one's Caroline's at the beach. Ocean. And a new one for me coffee and whiskey. Smells like you're in a smoker's boudoir or something. It doesn't it smell really nice? It's like leather and like the leather and cookies type smell. That works. So that is all of the. Oh no, wait a minute. We also got. We met the vessels. We do have we do have a pin, but so, uh, somewhere. badge somewhere <laughs> attached to clothing. I think that's the favourite thing is the the pin and the badge. We paid six bucks for this when we went to Zoo Tampa, so there will be a, a Zoo Tampa vlog. Coming. I highly recommend. Really good zoo. Would recommend there. Right, where we're we going first? Where are we going first? The stuff that we can't taste. Well, we could, we, could, guess, we could put it on something. So Caroline got the Goldens last time? Yep. Which we really love. We brought back the French's spicy brown. I like French's mustard, so this would be interesting to try. Got three sauces. Louisiana hot sauce. Because you tried this on one of your meals, really liked it. Yep. And I've liked it before. It's, it's like a slightly different Tabasco, but it's quite nice. I couldn't get the sriracha version of this. Which I'm pleased about because I don't like it. I love it. But we got the original. It tastes a bit like a Big Mac sauce. It's, it's a nice sauce. I tried Chick-fil-A for the first time on this trip and it's not in any vlog, so I'm talking about it now. It was expensive. It was worked out at £20 after conversion to get it delivered 
for a spicy chicken burger, waffle fries, and a lemonade. £20. Most expensive. I think that's got to be the most expensive burger I've ever had. And Certainly from a fast food place. And it didn't have all the filling, did it? And it had no cheese and no sauce. And I was like, what? What is going on with this? However, the chicken was very nice. I wouldn't pay... But I wouldn't pay £20 again. I wonder if it's cheaper to go rather than getting Uber to deliver it. One more hot sauce. Right hot. Dill pickle. We love Frank's red hot sauces, so... And this one's dill pickle, which is different. So we, we thought we'd get this one. We also got... <clears throat> our friend Ant recommended this salsa. It's Mateo's Gourmet Salsa Medium Hatch Chili. And it's not too spicy, but it's got a really, really nice flavour. So we bought some of that back, he gave us some of his to try, and then I, I went and bought a jar. And then, I don't like coffee, but I reckon I would like this coffee if I had some creamer. Because um, I had a little taste of I'm it, the coffee, it okay. I'm the coffee drinker. But you did, you did try it on other than you said you, you thought it was quite nice. This coffee here. Yeah. Mexican coffee. Is it Mexican? Yep, yeah, it's Mexican coffee. It's in Spanish. It's Mexican coffee. Yeah. So we need to find some decent creamer with flavour in for Sean to try it with. I did pinch the creamer off the flights for him to try. But it's not the same. Because it's just cream. Okay, we've got a lot of crisps to get through. A lot of crisps. So we should start going through some of them. You want to, you want to go through the things that we're not yeah, eating? Yeah, the ones that we're not going to eat. I'll just okay. show them here. Caroline wanted some tomatoes, so we've got a mild and a hot version of these. There is a reason behind Chili. this. Kitty makes a lovely, mean um, broccoli cheddar soup, and she puts tomatoes in, and these are the tins of tomatoes that she uses in the soup, and they are delightful. Really good. So I brought some home. Why not? You did a you did a whiskey tasting. I did a whiskey tasting with Matt and Natalie on my own. You didn't because you were driving. Indeed. And didn't because he was driving. In St. Augustine. Yeah. Um, if you're ever up in St. Augustine, do the whiskey tasting. We went to the City Gate one. There was two. Both are free. They're like sister breweries. We, you only did the one. You get ten almost full shots of whiskey or moonshine or rum. So it, it's worth doing and it's free. Uh, we brought back two bottles. But Caroline, I haven't tasted them. Caroline said they were very good. I said I thought these, Sean would like these ones. Peanut butter whiskey. Bold, smooth, and undeniably nutty. That's how you describe me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I, um, so the first one I actually tried was a smoky, smoky something bourbon, which I thought Aunt liked. So we got Aunt that bottle, and Aunt absolutely loves it. He's already halfway through it. You'll have to watch the video when it comes out yeah. to see all of the rest. Then I think this was these ones were the second ones I tried. Peanut butter. Over to you. And am I opening these up to try? You, for can, you, you can you if you want, dad. but I don't want any. <laughs> you and Dad are going to try them. Not right now. Cookie dough whiskey that is the... was the other one. Our cookie dough whiskey. Harmonious blend of sweetness and warm. Buttery cookie dough, vanilla, caramel, and a hint of sea salt in every sip. Dad, can you come try? That one. Well, we were in America. We got... I got another brand of... I got a brand of bourbon that was mixed with cookie dough. Awful. Can't remember what it was called. Come in, awful. come in, Hopefully come in, this one's good. come in to the centre. Right, so this is Dad trying the peanut butter whiskey. Let's open this one. Nice. Nice. It's mild. You can smell mild the peanut butter. You can smell the peanut smell butter. The peanut. It really smells of yeah. peanut butter. Have a sniff of that cookie dough, Dave. Ooh. <laughs> See if it tastes better than the rubbish one. <laughs> I'm only going to have a little bit. Definitely. That's decent. These were $35 a bottle. Buy two, get one half price. But they were 35 bucks a bottle. For the whiskies. The uh, moonshines, I think, were also 35 Some of the rums and other ones were, were 27 18 and 27 What's your thoughts? But these were 35. It's nice, but it's sweet. 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 You prefer the it's one stronger which than one? the one you used before. Mm, no. Same with uh, no, it's probably the same. Cookie dough, the cookie dough is 2.5% more strength. Yeah. So he was right, technically. So that, those were the two whiskies from there. We got from the airport 
Melbourne Airport, by the way, rubbish, duty free, really rubbish, not much choice at all. Uh, but we got some Canadian Legacy Whiskey. This one's 40% volume. That should taste pretty good. And then on the plane, you're not opening them all, are you? Yeah, I'm you're gonna be. I'm just giving. I'm not having any. I'm making. Got... I'm making dad have a What are you opening them all for? Exactly, Dave. Exactly. Two bottle, two liter bottles of cracking rum, and let me get it. The Remy XO. We got these on the plane on the two year flight. They were three for fifty five pound, which I thought was a good deal. So we got them on the plane because, like I say, the Melbourne duty free was absolutely dire. Just. The, Nothing, nothing there. There was three bourbons to choose from. Which if you like gin, there was a good choice. Which one do you prefer out of all of them? The second one. You prefer the cookie dough? The cookie dough the most. Yeah. That's the one you just twisted your face at. Oh. <laughs> so you preferred the cookie dough, the, the sweeter yeah. one the most, okay? Mm. So you prefer the cookie dough. Oh, well, there you go. He's tried it. Mm. Thanks, you know. Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <coughs> we brought a bunch of Powerade Zeros when we were over there. We had two bottles left, so we brought them back with us. Got these from Target, I think. Weirdly, this makes me dry. It does make you dry. Like yeah. I got so dry after drinking this, and I'm like, I was it's like, I need, I need something else. But we ended up drying. Yeah. All right. We're now wanted some tasting of tasting of some food, so we'll start with some crisps. I bought a big box, uh, packet box of these Oreos over there, which we ate, and they were really, really good. You think Oreo sour patch kids not going to work? They, they work really, really well. So we've got two bags of these to, to give us gifts to our you friends. enjoy them, my love. I will. Not for me. Not for Oreos. Got some Icebreakers grape. Chew them. Not tried them yet. Not tried them yet. We got these Trident Sour Patch. Chewing them. These are the blue raspberry ones while we're over there. It's rattling a little bit because it's, it's half empty. We, we're eating these. These ones make your mouth water. Really saliva. So if you're feeling very dry, have them. They are really, really nice. And I've just never got a chance to go back and get another tub or the red ones. But I'd recommend these a lot. The backseat passengers kept pinching them. Mm, in the car. That would be me, me and Matthew. Oh, it knows. <laughs> Okay, um, we've got some jellies. We've got, oh, one more thing. I'm not eating right now. Peanut butter M&Ms. Everyone knows what they are. Right, uh, should we start with some Takis, but not the cute, not the tube things. These are hot chili pepper and lime. Actual but they're crisps by actual. the look Actual crisps, not the tubes. Mm. Wow, they're quite tart with the lime. Nice though, spicy but tart. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Get them. Yeah, I've what, got what? that feeling the same with chicken when you go. Yeah. Watery. We did have another plate bag while we were over there, which was a jalapeno version. They were pretty nice. Ooh. I don't. You drink after them. <coughs> I don't. I don't know. I've got a knockoff book. I've got a sip of coffee there. <coughs> okay. Let's get something to cool down. What have we got? Creamy dill pickle hers. Little dill pickle for the stuff. I don't know if you've noticed. You're going to have a lot of crisp tea over the next couple of days here. I've invited people. I said I'd invite people over and have some crisp, crisp party. <laughs> For a crisp party? <laughs> they are really creamy, actually. The packet is creamy dill pickle. Yeah, they are. They are really, really creamy. They are creamy. With a subtle dill, dill pickle flavour. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Let's stop the, the crisp for a second. Swedish fish. Got these were one twenty five from the dollar store. One twenty five dollar store. Oh, a blue raspberry lemonade fish. Where's the fish? Do not. Does 
doesn't mention any gelatin. Pop your wife then. Also from the dollar store, 125. Great pick of Sour Patch Kids. You can get Sour Patch Kids over here, so I don't tend to buy too many, too much Sour Patch stuff apart from the unusual things. You can't get great ones. And then I've got healthy jellies on target. Lily's sour gummy worms, tart and tasty, fruity flavours, less than one gram of sugar, no added sugar, made with stevia, gluten free, non GMO, blah blah blah. Then I also got peach rings, because peach rings are the best. And sweet fruity friends. I want to try a peach ring actually. Let's see if these are as good as like the full sugary. Oh, hang on, they're already quite different. These are actually good for a um, low carb diet. Yeah, these are not that good. Just the two healthy. Not as peachy as the fake ones. And definitely not sugary. But I bet you it's but I bet it's made with real fruit juice. Probably. Mm. I don't think I would buy them again. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Um can't remember where I bought these from. Maybe the dollar store game? I don't know. But I've had trouble getting everything that I yeah. wanted to bring back. Bought these from the dollar store, one twenty five. Peppercorn ranch. Pretzel sticks. A few. I love this range of pretzel sticks, but they didn't have any of the versions that I wanted at all. And also got smoked gouda or gouda. No, oh, that cheesy. It's super cheesy. My mouth's still going from the first original crisps. I don't like the ranch ones. You don't like them? No. Oh, right. Too peppery. And they're too cheesy. You can enjoy all of them. Well, from my point of view, they're tasty. And I like them. Push all the flavours out. Okay. You want some I can't, I can't taste you want cheese. some more dill pickle flavoured stuff? Yeah, I can't taste cheese. And I can't taste the ranch. Dill pickle and cashews. Here. You want me to open them? Dill pickle cashews. These are Target's own brand. Good. And gather. Nice. Very nice. Like them. Really pickly flavour. I love a good cashew. Good pickle flavour. Mmm. That's good. Hey. Texas toast. Caroline. Garlic and butter flavoured croutons. Caroline's new favourite thing. Because mm. I bought you some. To make to a sandwich with. Texas toast. Texas toast. New sandwich. morning star bacon. New morning star bacon and hot sauce. And cheese in, in the middle of the morning. That was Caroline's favourite breakfast. Really buttery. Mm-mm. It's garlicky. Nice garlic flavor, but really buttery. Let me get that. I just get garlic. I'm just well. I love butter. Okay, what's next? Some Doritos. Doritos. Baja fiery mango flavor. Got these right at the beginning of the trip, and then I never tried them. I'm not a big fan of mango flavour, so... These are weird. These are weird. Mm. Mm. Eat it. Mm. Eat it. Swallow. Don't spit. It's rude. 
I'll mix some of the crisp. <sighs> no. These are weird. I don't like them. I like, am what I am. It's like a, like a nacho cheese Dorito, full of mango flavour, and it, they're well strange. But I reckon you'd like them with salsa. I, I don't like them at all. They're I not. can't decide if I like them or if I don't. They're just so strange. They're like, not for me. I've never had a crisp like that. That's just strange. They're vile. Like really fruity. Weird. Next. Kettle Coop Mesquite Barbecue Crisps. Good and gather. Target on brand again. Why pay more? Like a nice mesquite barbecue flavour crisp. Oh, well, we'll look at mm. Exactly what you'd expect. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I like. Exactly what you'd expect. You know, <laughs> the bag's open. It's popped open. Oh no, I wasn't going to open these, but we're going to have to eat them. We had like two bags of these while we were over there. We onion and garlic. Right, they taste like That's the so old fashioned good. spring onion crisp. Come over here. And the other ones, the crinkly onions, are really good as well. Yeah. These are awesome. They're like the old fashioned spring onion ones. They've opened, so the bag, the cookies are open them, but they are really, really good. We had a couple of bags of these while we were away. Okay. Um, onions, onions, crinkle cut crisps. Now, if you would need to put Sean through his paces this year, he's made me try something mangoey, which I don't like. So he's going to try some fish skin. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <gasps> chicken skin. No chicken. But chicken skin, fish skin, whatever. We've got the giant skin. Hot Nashville season chicken skin crisp from Flock Hattie Bees. Chicken place I want to try at some point when we go to Nashville. These were from Bucky's. I want to try one. Okay, there we go. These are. This don't smell good. I don't eat chicken skin. No, he doesn't even like chicken skin. <laughs> 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 Delightful. Nice, tasty, crispy, <clears throat> file. Yeah. Oh. Got plenty more to go. Let's, let's try some of these. Oh, this is popcorn. We'll come, we'll come back to these. Is it popcorn, is it? Um, spicy Bio Blaze New Orleans style potato chips from 7 Eleven. What is this meat or not meat? Just spicy. They're like a spicy Cajun. Really crispy, but like a spicy Cajun flavor. I like them. They're quite nice. They actually give me all dressed vibes. Speaking of all dressed, <coughs> from Bucky's, we got these bold and blended flavor. The salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion and garlic flavors all mixed together. We've got these from Bookies. We have already tried these. These are delicious. They're very good. So we brought back two. Okay. From Bookies. Cheesy Puffs. Jalapeno. There we go. That's what a cheesy puff looks like. Doesn't smell cheesy. Not that cheesy, not that jalapeno-y, but enough flavour there. Mm -hmm. the, the like the hers, the hers ones. I like them. It's, uh, I'm not a big fan of cheese puffs. You're right. Guess what's up next? We're not trying them. Sort of spicy dill pickle. I love dill pickle. Also, flavour mixers, gushers. Raspberry lemonade, we've got some of them from Bucky's. Watch out for the Bucky's log. Oh, one more thing that's not a edible. Sun bum. Cheaper in Bucky's than anywhere else. Buy like $3. Let's 
with another gold lid. Two more items to go. Both from Buggies. The Sriracha Peanuts. And... I thought you were going to put that all in my mouth and the way you were that. <laughs> Cotton Candy Mints from Buggies. Because who doesn't need a mint? You want to try these bits? I'll try them for you. Mm. <clears throat> this is weird. They're not nice. I do not like them at all. What? They should just be nice. Why? Why? Why are they not nice? They should just be you spicy put, peanuts. Put my mouthful in my mouth in the wall, what? That's the whole. <coughs> Hope you've enjoyed it. Watch out for the series because it's coming next week. Big Mary's. Catch you later.